spirituality encompasses so much of who we are. I had a patient who, she wasn't a, a, a religious or spiritual person at all. As a matter of fact, when, when we asked, you know, what do you consider yourself spiritual or religious? She said no, but she owned a ranch and they uh, bought, sold, raised, trained quarter horses. And she said, I know this sounds really funny, but this place is a spiritual place for me. She goes, it's where I feel refreshed. It's where I feel renewed. And so I, I really try to work with that and help them to come to a place of, of that's peaceful for them. When you've been a nurse as long as I have, and um, you, you learn to look for clues. You look for openings. You ask the questions that can be leading questions to get the answers you're looking for. Um, such as, you know, your friend who is, who is gravely ill. Um, <clears throat> I would say, you know, is there anything, or is there anything spiritually that, that I can do for you? Or, or do you have any spiritual needs? Or are you religious? Or, you know, where are you spiritually? Um, are you somebody who believes in God? Or do you believe in something else? What meets your spiritual needs? And um, I don't come right out and say all of that, but th those are the kind of things that I look for in. And I engage people in conversation so that I, I can look for entry points to get that information. Because if they are spiritual, um, I, I want to be sure that they're getting the, the support that they need in that area. If they are of my faith background, um, even if they aren't, I've offered to pray with people. And I've had, uh, you know, Muslims, I've had Hindus, I've had people who are very different from my uh, Christian tradition, and um, they, they're very open to praying. Um, if they aren't, I say, well, is there somebody I can get for you? Is there, is there anything else I can do for you? And I don't put people on the spot. I just create an opening to where they feel safe. And they can, they can say to me, no, I don't want it. Or yes, I would like that. Thank you very much. They don't know how to ask the questions. It's not like anybody gets a trial run at this. When uh, you first get to know patients, there's a term that I like to use. It's called intimate strangers. They know they've got advanced cancer. Whether they want to admit it or not, that you know, time is short. In my asking the questions, it, it also helps them to think about questions that they want to ask. It's okay to ask the question why. And it's okay to question God if you believe in God, because if you believe in God, you know that he's much bigger than that, first of all. Second of all, no matter what their religion, asking why opens up the doors for discussion. And sometimes, a lot of times, they don't need you to give them an answer. They just need you to listen and to be there. And it provides that, that place for them to go to be able to ask the question.